Hey Faith family, our pastoral team is here in Uptown Greenville today. And one of the wonderful things about our community is that it is so full and so rich with locally owned businesses and uh, proprietors that just provide a wonderful service to our community. And I just want to remind you of how hard hit uh, these, these uh, establishments are during this time when they're having to operate on alternate schedules and, and, and different service provisions that they're able to uh, provide for our community. And uh, we just want to remind you to be praying for our city, uh, praying for the business owners and uh, college kids who are out of work, who aren't getting those tips, waitresses and waiters. That, that aren't able to sustain themselves now in the manner that they had. It's a big deal when you, uh, when you go from waiting tables for tips to getting uh, unemployment benefits. That's a huge deal. And we need to be lifting up our community and especially these local businesses. And uh, we just want to join you right now, uh, ask you to join us right now in praying for our wonderful community that we get to call home and just asking God's blessing and favor over it. Father, we come to you in the strong name of Jesus, knowing that you are able to exceed our expectations. You are the God of more than enough. And God, in this time when it seems like there are so many things that are trying to rob and take away, God, we pray that your blessing and your favor be added to the local business. God, we pray that you would open doors of opportunity. God, help business owners to be creative in knowing how to better serve our community during this difficult time. And God, we pray that your hand of sustenance and provision would just rest upon all of these uh, local businesses, Lord, that are hurting so bad. God, those kids that need those tips, God, would you just make a way for them in Jesus' name? And Father, we just speak life and healing over this city in the name of Jesus. Give wisdom to our leadership, Lord. Give wisdom to our mayor. Give wisdom to our elected officials, God, as they guide us through this season. Give wisdom and strength to our governor, Lord, and our president. And Father, we just love you and we thank you and we trust you in this storm, God. And we ask it all in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. We're here with Laura Smith, the owner of the Biscuit and Bean, a familiar spot for many of you. And as most of you know, our business community, especially our restaurants with some of the restrictions, is in a tight spot right now. But Laura has a, a, a encouraging perspective on all of this. You say you're concerned. I'm concerned, not worried. Right. Uh, we, we base our uh, business on our principles and, sure. and, our, and rest assured in Jesus and, and His Word is true. He's never let us down. Yeah. And um, His plan is bigger and yeah. much more perfect than we could ever imagine. Absolutely. Even though we don't know what the outcome is going to be right now, His Word is true. Yeah. He's bigger than COVID-19. Absolutely. He's bigger than state restrictions. Absolutely. Right? So he's able to sustain us and see us through. His Correct. math is different than our math. Absolutely. Right? So we're just believing God for a blessing and abundance. And we're, we're making these stops today to encourage our faith family to join with us in prayer and holding up our local businesses during these trying times. I know it's tough for everybody but especially our local businesses. And we wanna be sure we're lifting those folks to the Lord and trusting God for a miracle of provision. Father, we come to you in the strong name of Jesus. We lift Laura and her team to you. God, right now we pray for their safety. Lord, as many hands and people are passing through this establishment, God, keep your hand of protection upon them. And Father, beyond that, we ask your hand of providence, Lord. Some trust in horses, some in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And Lord, we just pray a blessing of abundance and favor over this business today. God, that you would do a miracle of multiplication of the business that's coming through, Lord. And we give you praise and the glory and the honor, asking it all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for your All time. Right. Thank you. Thank you. It's so good to you. have a great you. day. Yeah, you too. Yeah. You are awesome. Thank you. We thank you. We're here today with Danny Smith, one of Faith Assembly's own, and Danny and his wife Kathy are also the proprietors of the Seahorse Restaurant right here in Greenville, North Carolina. And Danny, we've been moving around the city today, praying with business owners and just believing God for a season of prosperity and provision, even during these trying times that we know are presented for you and your business family uh, during this time. So we, number one, we wanted to drop by and just uh, 
share that faith with you and pray with you and believe God for that season and that time of prosperity. Second, we want to thank you for your partnership because what we want our faith family to know is today, uh, Faith Assembly Church is partnering with the Seahorse Restaurant and we are reaching out to a very, another very crucial segment of our population, and that is our healthcare providers, who are on the front line of helping us with treating and containment of this virus. And uh, today, just in a few minutes now, we're gonna be uh, providing lunch for all of the uh, emergency department staff here at Pitt Vida, and we're so thankful for your cooperation in this. And uh, we thank you so much for that. And we're glad to have the partnership with Seahorse Restaurant. And we encourage, uh, Denny, you guys are still open for carryout orders, right? Yep. Absolutely. So, hey, if you're at home quarantined, you still want some good food, be sure to swing by the Seahorse Restaurant. They're still open for carryout orders and call in. So, by all means, utilize that. And, uh, of course, join us in lifting this fine restaurant in prayer and believing with these business owners. So if you would just join us now, we're going to pray over this restaurant. Father, we come to you in the strong name of Jesus, Lord. And God, we stand with Danny and many others like him, Lord, that just need to see your hand of providence at work in their lives through this situation. Uh, God, we declare right now that you are bigger than coronavirus. You are bigger than government mandates, Lord. And Father, we just pray that, Lord, your hand of providence just rest upon this establishment. God, we just look to you with expectant hearts, God, that we emerge on the backside of this more victorious and stronger than ever before. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all so much. Yeah, thank you. Are you Lisa? Yeah. Lisa, it's, it's good to meet you. Yeah, I don't, you just don't even know what to do anymore. Right. But, um, well, we just wanted to, um, we just wanted to offer a token to you guys who we know are on the front lines of what's going on in our community right now and just tell you how much we appreciate you and your willingness to serve our community. We know it's your job, but at the same time, we recognize that you have a height for us now to come into work and uh, you're providing an invaluable service to, to our community. And uh, is there anything in particular you'd like to encourage people to pray for your team? Yes, just continue to keep us in prayer and we thank you all for everything that you all do. We thank you for your prayers and just continue to, to keep be safe as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for this opportunity and thank you for what you do. Do you mind if we just have a word of prayer over your team and this yes. establishment? Yes. Father, we come to you in the strong name of Jesus. And Lord, we stand with our medical community. Yes. Lord, today we've offered a token to those in the emergency department, but we know that they represent so many others that are out here on the front lines of this virus, Lord, that are helping to safeguard our community. God, we just pray a special anointing, a head of protection over their lives, their families, God. They're, they're in this as well. And Lord, we just pray a special strength and encourage, encouragement for their hearts, Lord, as they endure this season, uh, Father. And we just pray that you would just keep your hands upon them. Encourage them, Lord, and lift them up, we pray. In the strong name of Jesus, amen. Amen. All right, Lisa, bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah, there we go. All right.